Hello, today I'm going to go over the differences between start dates, due dates, and the purpose of using durations. Let's say we have a weekly task, taking out the bins. Now seemingly it's due every week, say every Wednesday, and you usually carry out the task at 8 in the evening. If you were to assign a due date and a time to this task, this task will become visible in your today list on Wednesday for the whole day. But for something as mundane as taking out the bins, you may not want to see it with the rest of your more important tasks on that day. This is when we would use a start date and time. Doing so will schedule the task to appear specifically on the set start date and time. To emphasize, a task which has been scheduled to begin sometime in the future will be hidden from the list until it's time for it to begin. If you wish to see this task before it begins, you have two options. 1. Tap the scheduled list and it will show your scheduled tasks. Or 2. In the top right of the sort bar, tap on the clock icon. This will toggle the display on or off. Now on to the purpose of using durations. Let's say you have a task that you know would take you 3 days to prepare, and let's say it's due on Monday. In order for Todo to be able to remind you 3 days in advance, you would set its duration to be 3 days. This will cause it to appear in the today list throughout the three days before the deadline, which should give you ample time to prepare and plan for your task. If you're interested in learning more, please have a look at the rest of the videos to learn what you can do with to do.